hello hello welcome to my channel my name is Chi this video is going to be a tutorial of how to con roll for beginners also in the tutorial I am going to be going through some problems that beginners have and I am also going to tell you how to fix those problems some of the problems are the very common one is roll not sticking to the scalp so I am going to show you what causes that and how to fix that. Another problem I know people have are the braids being crooked. Where the braid will be crooked here and then return back to position and go straight and sometimes it crooked several times like it's bending and bending and bending. And I'm going to tell you what causes that and how to fix it. Another, pro another problem I have seen is when the plate is not definite. You're supposed to see three strands moving like this but sometimes you just see some random confused scalar quantities on, on top of the plates like they don't belong to any of those three strands they are just here another problem is staying in the section where you are actually breathing some people have a challenge with that and they complain about grabbing hair from outside of the line another problem is people complain of the camera angle when they watch videos of how to breathe because they feel like if the camera is opposite the breather it's not as clear as they just want a, a point of view of the first person so I am going to make sure I have the camera right as my eyes can see so that when I say left you know I mean left when I say right like everything is easier that way and another problem I see is people having a challenge with starting up their braids even when they do not intend to they end up making like a brush because they, they, they intend to start the braid here but it starts here because of their hand position. I'm going to tell you what causes this and how to fix it. When do you add hair? I can't see. When do you grab more hair to add to your hair? We are going to, we are going to trash all that. At the end of this video, you are going to be a braider. At least a beginner braider. Then you can work on your speed and like your, it will get better with practice definitely. So let's start. Baby braider. So to start off the braid, the first thing you need to do is section off a tiny part at the beginning of your braid. You can do this with your comb but you can do it with your finger. Even non, not even when it's not a straight line, yeah, that's still fine. So we are going to share this into three equal parts like this. So now I have three equal sections now we are trying to build a plate in the middle of this braid and we are going to do so by grabbing off hair from our left and our right to grab the hair we do that with our thumb and index finger when you are grabbing the hair ensure that your finger is this open if you open up your finger like this you are going to grab a lot of hair so you just need your to keep your fingers close together when you go to grab hair just like this and you use this other hand to kind of fit in the braid into your hand if you open up your hand this way you are going to grab in a lot of hair and that will not be good for you so you need to keep your hand this way so we are going to go underneath the middle grab go underneath the middle grab underneath the middle strand grab underneath the middle strand grab so now we have our three sections and our detangled hair we are about to build a plate right here a cornrow right here in the middle so we are going to now start grabbing I go underneath this is my middle braid I go underneath my middle braid and grab this section go underneath the middle braid and grab this section so the very first time I am grabbing just one of those three strands that we have but this next time I am going in I will be adding in some hair into this very tiny section in my hand so I grab the hair go underneath as I go to grab hair here you can see my finger is just 
slightly opened literally this is the size of the hair i am feeding in this is the size of the hair just small do not be in a hurry you can actually braid it this way when you go to picking hair here you add in you can see how much hair is going in just that much you go underneath the middle grab as a beginner try to always detangle your hair as you go if i go underneath the middle to grab some hair i would ensure this one is straight now it is detangled all the hair are together i go underneath grab go underneath grab while i am grabbing i ensure these two hands are close together and i am just grabbing just a little hair so i sneak in under and grab sneak in under and grab let's continue this sneak in underneath this one grab here sneak in underneath this middle grab from this side so i grab from the left go underneath the middle grab from the right go underneath the middle grab from the left go underneath the middle grab from the right as i am grabbing my hand is this open <coughs> my hand is this open so as i go to grab you can see see my hand here you can see these fingers that's just the amount of hair coming in here that's all so i grab go underneath and i grab go underneath grab go underneath grab now let's so to start off these our fingers are going to sneak underneath the middle braid because these hairs these fingers are sneaking they need to be quiet and remain close to the scalp as much as possible so they sneak quietly down here to grab the hair from this side move it over to the middle then this sneaks to this other side grab a little hair bring it into the middle that is how they will keep building until they are done with the plate so this is going to sneak underneath the middle to the side grab a little hair and this sneaks underneath to the side grab a little hair underneath the middle see my two fingers can you see here my fingers are close together this they are just taking in only this portion of hair that comes in if you open your hand too much which is another problem people have that is when you grab too much hair if you open your finger this much you will grab this much hair you are going to overfeed your middle braid and before you get to the end here before you get to the ending part of the hair you will be out of hair but once your finger is opened just a little bit see this is the hair i am grabbing for real that's all just this little hair you grab you go underneath come this side grab go underneath you sneak in from the left bring it to the middle underneath the chief sneak in more hair bring it in go underneath the center sneak in more hair bring it in sneak in hair watch now let's focus on what my middle finger is doing watch where this finger is it is if i leave the braid you can see what's happening the plate is loosening from here which a tone like this is here if i lose the braid can you see how loose this braid is because my thumb is no more tight but when your my thumb is tight this thumb pushes against the hair keeping the ones i have done already tight that is actually what this middle finger is doing without you seeing it so when i go to braid here you can see this finger pushing up and holding on to the braid i have already done to keep it tight yeah you see sneak in here while this middle finger is between the these other two strands pushing up against the braid to keep them tight once the two braids are tight 
Once these two braids are firmly held in my thing in this other hand and my middle finger is in the middle pushing it back here, the braid is going to be tight. So why people do not have tight braids is when they don't have anything reinforcing these two braids to be tight. If I leave this my middle finger to be loose now, watch, now it's loose. When I go in to sneak in, I have like a longer distance here which is going to make my braid not to be tight. Can you see this? So let's continue. My middle finger is not pressed tightly. It's not pushing up against this and then my hold on this other two strands is not tight. That is what gives you this type of braid. This is another type of braid beginners make. Can you see it's not tight? But if I focus on having my middle finger tightly pressed against these braids, the two braids, can you see? This is my middle finger. It gets into the middle of the two braids as I go in to sneak more and now my braids are tight again so sneak underneath grab some hair sneak underneath grab some hair sneak underneath making sure these two hands are close together sneak underneath grab sneak grab sneak grab sneak grab and grab of the complaints which is when this braid is loose like this braid is very loose i will show you example of how it is loose now this is when my braid is too loose when your braid is too loose you can you can pull it up like this can you see this this is a problem braiders have and to fit to fix this to fix this braid that is too loose we are going to now pay attention to the middle finger remember we are braiding with these three fingers these two are for grabbing this middle finger is what is going to help you have a tight braid because it will be putting in some force between the two strands that you have when you grab your hair the two outer strands you're going to have your middle finger in between them as you can see here and this is what is ensuring that this plate that you have done already is not coming undone if I move this my finger if I move my middle finger down a little from here so if I move my little my middle finger, this is my middle finger, so when it is tight up here, it is applying some pressure between these two braids, which is keeping the work I have done so far tight. If I move this finger down, if I move this my finger down and now go to grab hair, can you see what is happening? The distance between this braid between this plate this plate from here to here and from here to here are not the same because i moved my finger and stretched the distance between here and here so when your hand is not tight is not tightly pressed you have more distance from here to here which is going to make your braid loose but when your finger is tightly pressed here it is going to reduce how much stretch your hair have between here I hope you get what I mean so now you can see I have my braid loose here you can see it all messed up even from the side you can tell the braid will not last it is easy to pull it off so now if I want to make this braid tight from here watch as I braid I have this finger pressing in here holding everything look i can take off this hand at this point this finger is making sure these two braids if two out of the if two out of the three braids are secured then it will not lose can you see so the outer the two outer braids are securely held by my middle finger pressing up against here 
so that is what is making my braid tight if i release it i'll have this type of braid so let's braid a couple more down for you to see it's tight it's tight it's tight there you go now i have made it tight again and that is why i have like a neat tight braid there you go so now you can see the difference between here i already have old hair sticking out and that's the problem braiders have when your new braiders have when your hair is basically old already because it is not tight i can almost pull the braid here and it's, you get what i mean but you can see this one getting underneath it is like you need some effort when your braid is not lying flat on the scalp this is somehow still related to this problem here of when your middle finger is not doing its own contribution to building that plate so remember to put away the section you are not working with so that it doesn't interfere with your braid and also detangle your braid properly from the roots down some people will just come up here like this without paying attention to the bottom of their braid no make sure your comb goes all the way after you have detangled the top section your comb should go down all the way and you make sure every strand of hair is standing up straight ready to be braided so let's start off so i have my three sections here and i start feeding in my braid so i go so i go underneath the middle grab some hair go underneath grab underneath grab while keeping my fingers together so that i feed in just very little hair underneath grab underneath grab so now this is where the braiding hair starts to lift when you stop grabbing hair very close to your scalp that is when the hair starts to lift so if i go to grab my hair now and instead of pinching off hair from like the bottom parts can you see i just pinch the hair from the base of the scalp basically to feed into hair pinch from the base feed in now when i pinch from the top so instead of pinching this hair here i go ahead to pinch it around let me use my comb instead of pinching this hair here i go around and pinch it up on this section that's what is going to make the braid the braid will start forming on that place that i pinched the hair so whenever wherever you stealing hair from that is where your braid is going to fall if you come here to pinch your hair and you pinch even if it's a small section but you pinch it up here can you see this distance i am leaving this distance oh shit everything is black can you see the distance from my finger to the scalp this distance if i put if i feed in this braid like this underneath the middle my braid will start lifting watch so i have fed this my hand is no more down on the scalp and when i go to pick here too i grab in the hair around here without going to the base watch as my braid starts to lift from the scalp so instead of pinching it down at the scalp i come up to this distance here so this space is going to be the distance lifting my braid away from my scalp so there you go there and now you can see we have like a huge distance the hair is already feeding off or going off the scalp let me complete this so that you can see more properly so there you go let's complete our braid now you can see this because we didn't pinch at the root 
wherever you pinch the hair that is where your braid is going to be if you are stealing hair from the base it will be at the base if you are stealing hair from half of an inch your braid is going to stay up half of an inch so this is our floating hair that is one complaint if you have a strand that is relatively different in size than your two strands then you are going to have a bumpy strand if one of your strand is way smaller than the other two strands you are going to have an irregular braid and if one of your strands or two of your strands are just too big so you have to try to keep the three strands as equal as possible so when i go to grab her here and i add a little section of her i go here and add just few strands go here and add just few strands go underneath add few strands if i now come to add in here and add too much like see i open my fingers too long can you see this bigger distance and i feed in a lot of hair definitely now one of my strand this strand i just fed in this hair so this is one strand and this is the second one this is the third one but i just fed in this quantity of hair so now this strand is like almost double the size of these other ones so if i braid this in watch what is going to happen guys can you see I am still braiding with an irregular amount of braiding hair so this is this size really huge this is this size small and this is this size small can you see what is happening so here my braids are dipping and coming in that very big strand here is it here it is this is it and this is it so because their weights are not evenly distributed it is outweighing these smaller ones once they are still down here struggling and this one is up here like making life difficult for the smaller ones so this this strand is way bigger than this strand and this strand you can see the three sizes let me show it here you can see the three the three sizes of the strands so this varying strand is what is causing that and that is because when I went to grab in here I opened my finger too much even just once or twice is going to cause this difference and that is going to make your braid bumpy when you go to grab your hair can you see how scattered this this section is can you see how unruly i just detangled it but you could see it was still tangled into this place and then it wasn't placed together your braid should be kind of arranged and smoothed out so when you braid you can you see this movement this movement like this this movement this movement puts the whole hair can you see if i braid again without putting in these little strands well into this it can miss its way can you see it up here now it doesn't belong to any of my three strands this little hair i don't know if you can see yes you can this little hair because i didn't arrange it into this one and i left it it doesn't belong to any of the three strands i am working with and it is up here on its own so if i continue braiding i will have here it is it is still dangling up there just dangling up here if i decide to remember it now and add it into my braid i will have can you see this I'm trying to create this fault and what causes it but all the same along the braid you can see 
This is what causes your braid to not be smooth. You can see this. You can see all these random stray hairs on top of your braid. If you want to prevent that, always make sure you smooth, especially as a beginner. It doesn't hurt you to like when you braid, you run your hand. Okay, move forward. You run your hand all across the braid to make sure that you're putting in like this one that is here down. I need to make sure it is incorporated into the braid I am working with so you take your time and smooth your hand all the way smooth your hand all the way smooth your hand out down the entire length of the hair and that way your braid is not going to have all these random remnants of fly away on your braid let's see so i have covered the point of view okay now the brush at the beginning of the braid that is for people who complain that they cannot seem to start their braid at the first section now what fixes this is actually to start with three if i come here to start my three first little sections this is going to make it difficult for my braid to start right can you see this can you see this brush like we have like your hair just laid down before the braid actually starts to fix this make sure you start your braid at the very very beginning of the braid so just pick the closest section you can work with and start your three braids there that way the first first step is to braid just those three hairs that you picked the three strands before you start adding in hair and adding in hair so when you do it like this you are not going to have your braid starts right away and not like all the way down here I have a video on how to braid all back and ensure that your sections are equal in that video I went through sectioning on how to consider like the width the shape of the head the curve of the head the difference in the width of the back of the nape and the front of the head and that how that affects your braiding your line like the way you section off your hair I will have that video in the description but when you are done you can check it it is going to help you be able to section off your hair perfectly so that's why I didn't bother with sectioning in this video because I had already treated that in that video and it was as clear as I can ever make it be so now we are going to braid our perfect braids while showing how not to incorporate this one into the hair apart from sectioning the hair to help you have it out of place you have to at some instance smooth your hair like rest and smooth your hair what causes this hair to get into your hair is when your hand is here you try to keep your hand flat but don't rest your whole don't rest your hands your fingers are flat on the scalp but your hand shouldn't be flat on the scalp some people braid like this and once you're braiding like this this hand is going to be bringing in can you see this hand will be bringing in hair from the section you're not working with so you make sure your fingers are flat but here is not this part of your hand is not lying and moving the the person's hair so my fingers are flat but my whole hand is not flat if my whole hand were to be flat it will be bringing in this hair as i braid so you can stop at interval and just smooth in this smooth the hair away you smooth the hair away and also remember to pull and stretch ever so often or just every time as a beginner you can just always braid like this braid like this that way these strands are all arranged and your braid can be close to as close to perfect as possible so i go underneath and grab as i grab i smooth this one 
go underneath grab drag my hand all the way through to smooth the hair drag my hand all the way through drag my hand all the way through I smooth this hair to keep it away I make sure these ones are all together you see that that just happened I make sure they are all together so to recap all this let let's see our problems again so grabbing too much hair hair not lying flat on the scalp when did you add more hair I have shown you the way you add you grab in more hair so braids being crooked i've shown you what makes your braids to have gallops braids can't start at the right at the front I've, i just showed you that point of view so you're seeing this from my point of view staying within the section as you continue to perfect your braiding technique check out my video on how to plate all back making sure the patterns are even and straight this is going to help you with your sectioning and also i have a video on how to grip and braid very short flossy hair a hair that is about one inch long so check out that video if you have any question any request any complaint any comment please I will be excited to get any feedback from you. Thank you so much for watching. All the best in your new found.